Oh my fucking god, time for a new vlog. How the fuck are we doing today, guys? Alright, let me see. I got probably about 20 minutes before I have to leave for my uh, dentist appointment. As you guys, I told you guys yesterday, my wisdom teeth are. I, I seriously am debating about cutting a hole in my jaw. And yes, some of you guys sent me uh, questions asking if they're impacted wisdom teeth. Yes, they are. So, that means I probably, most likely, will get be getting Percocets. <laughs> yes! Anyways, let me see. Bonus EXP weekend is over. It's been over now for about, like, I don't know, maybe like 8 fucking hours or so. Actually, longer than 8 hours. Probably like 12. But, let's talk about my little bonus EXP weekend montaginess. I gained about... 350,000 farming EXP in those two fucking days just by doing herb runs. That is fucking insane. I believe that when I first started doing herb runs at 2.7 EXP, I was getting like 580 per herb experience per goddamn herb. That is fucking, that, that is a lot of goddamn experience. I forgot how the experience kind of worked, how it would go every 30 minutes it would drop. I thought it was every hour, so after the first 30 minutes, I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Then I realized, oh, wait a second, it's every, you know, every 30 minutes, not every hour. Kind of sucks, because I really did thought that it was every hour experience would drop down, but uh, I was wrong. Anyways, so uh, yeah, I got 300, and, and I mean... I was really expecting to get around 250,000 experience, but by me getting 350,000 fucking experience, that is awesome. Right now, I'm about nine, 900 and like 80,000 EXP until 99, so I always hate giving you guys a date on when I think 99 farming will be achieved. But probably, most likely, sometime in the beginning of October, we will have a mosh pit. So that will be awesome and sexy and wonderful. Because then I get another fucking cape that I cannot fit in my fucking bank. Alright, but otherwise, kind of really want to talk more about uh, bonus EXP weekend. Um, it's not double EXP weekend, it's bonus EXP weekend. If, although, for some reason, when it first came out, and this was back in uh, 2009 or 2000. 2010. Actually, I believe it was 2009 the first bonus EXP weekend came out. But, um, anyways, yeah. A lot of you guys actually PM me basically telling me that you got a lot of levels. Either in Herblore, and you know, I mean, I usually think that Herblore and construction is the skills that people most likely train. Even though construction, it seems kind of stupid, because when I was training construction, I had sacred clay hammers. So therefore, sacred clay hammers was actually more than two experience. So therefore, after about four hours, or rather, not even four, like two hours, my sacred clay hammers do more damage. I mean, uh, not more damage, more uh, experience. But otherwise, from the majority of you guys that uh, sent me PMs and shit, um, basically telling me that you were training herb lore, um, now, bonus EXP weekend, the first bonus EXP weekend, I got, I got fucked hardcore, mainly because I was doing smithing to 99, and, um, let me see, I, the smithing gauntlets, if you're using the smithing gauntlets, that doesn't, it's not that experience times 2.7. Because what happens is that when you use the smithing gauntlets, you get an extra 26 experience per uh, bar you smelt. So therefore, you would have to take it off to actually get the full amount of experience. So that weekend was kind of bumfuck for me. Kind of sucked. Then the second bonus ESP weekend, I did agility. I uh, got like 500k agility. Um, oh, yes. Fucking a friend of mine on RuneScape, uh, Big Blue. I'm not really sure how many of you guys know him. I play uh, Minecraft with him in Black Ops, if you guys follow that on my gaming channel. But um, he did thieving. He ended up getting a ridiculous amount of thieving experience. Um, he was telling me, because, I mean, if you're fucking level 91 in thieving and you do Pyramid Plunder, that's 240,000 experience an hour. 
you times that by 2.7, that is a lot of fucking experience. So he got a ton of experience. I think he got like a bonus, like couple mil EXP. I mean, it really depends what type of skill you choose to use your experience in. If you're using it in like herb lore, yes, it's actually pretty good. If you're using it for like fucking maybe combat, uh, it's it's really you know kind of like 50-50 in a way. But um, otherwise, right now I'm just looking at the forums to see if there's anything worthwhile about me, uh, worthwhile of me talking about, and uh, not really so much. Just really the same old shit on RuneScape. Probably most likely going to buy some more fucking emotes as soon as uh, more of those uh, loyalty little points come, either this month or next month. But um, otherwise, that's pretty much it, guys. But otherwise, guys, as for tonight, I'm going to be fletching my balls off. Haven't fletched my balls off in about three and a half days and kind of really want to. Plus, I'm going to be watching uh, this movie called Hatchet 2. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> it is about a motherfucker that goes around killing people with a chainsaw and a hatchet. So, I kind of look forward to seeing that. But otherwise, right now, I want to go to my email address and read up some happy hooba hooba questions from you motherfuckers. And NightmareTreeOfWho.com and actually can be used. Otherwise, well, your wisdom teeth will have to be fucking removed and you will be in pain. Kind of sucks. First, Hoopa Hoopa question. Ours username, Catwoman8837. First off, I want to say your videos are very funny. I enjoy watching them. Smiley face. For my question, is a simple one really a uh, little squiggly thingamajiggy? If you could change anything at RuneScape, what would it be and why? Or do you like it as it is? Hope you answered my question. Thanks. Uh, the nips like a colon and a little O to do like a, kind of a dick sucking face. I don't know why people put that face, but yeah. Anyways, okay, if I could change one thing on RuneScape, um, there, it's not really one thing I would change. It's more like many things I would change. So therefore, or do I like it how it is? I mean, fucking, the new prayer update and shit, I think that's actually pretty useless and retarded, but just like the Constitution update, it had a purpose, so who fucking knows? Maybe the next skill on RuneScape has to do with the prayer update. You got, you guys never know! <laughs> Jagex could be pulling a fast one, but um, yeah, so that's pretty much about it. Um... To be honest, I kind of like RuneScape how it is. I, I, I mean, if you guys have been playing as long as I have, and Jagex does something that updates, you kind of get used to it. Even though if they change, like, my fucking Third Age armor again, or change the Hooba Hooba dance, then I'll be fucking pissed. But otherwise, it's pretty much about it, guys. If you guys got anything for me, you can leave it in a nasty, dirty little comment. And I'll see you happy, motivated motherfuckers tomorrow. Bye!